I'm down here. This is Weaver Creek. It's one of the famous um, areas right off Red Hill, which is right there on the potato patch. And this area has been worked really, really good with all um, professional equipment. But I got permission to throw my dredge in here to see what I can get. So um, I don't think many people dredge over here. They all use just a uh, big equipment. Like, see all that working? You know, they got a. Uh, there's a screen right there, backhoes and excavators, and so yeah, pretty cool. So this is where all the big boys play in Arizona. Look at that guy's got a camper and an excavator. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty sick. I'm gonna be dredging with the big boys. All right, so here we go. I got my dredge, my equipment, four wheeler, and uh, we're gonna go dredging on Weaver Creek. That's where I'm gonna be dredging up in that valley over there. That's uh, the devil's nest, I believe they call it. That's where they're finding all the gold. But yeah, look at this. Huge workings going on down here. Hole, there's a, look at that huge hole right there. Um, I think what these guys are doing are actually just, they're digging the, the stuff up, they're laying it out, and they're metal detecting. Cause uh, there's usually no, no water in this creek here. So they're not using water, they're just metal detecting um, the stuff down here. So all the, the fine gold, you know, it's all still in the creek. Um, I don't think they're digging in the creek, I'm not sure. But these guys, uh, they don't usually dredge or anything like that. There's no, um, there's usually no water down there. So here I come to come dredge it up. All right, it's been a little bit of a bumpy ride. I have to keep on adjusting stuff, but so far so good. Everything's still in there. It's been, uh, probably been like four miles. But uh, we're almost there. Oh no, I locked the gate. What am I gonna do? That's all right, I've got the key. Toby gave me a key to... Awesome. Look at that. I got my own key to a mine. <laughs> How cool is that? That's freaking sweet. Through the gate. This is like the coolest thing ever for me. I got my own key to a real mine. Isn't that freaking sick? All right, let's get some gold. Cool, so I got permission to dredge pretty much anywhere from this pit, this work area here, up to where the campers are up there. So I'm not really sure. I haven't been here and checked it out. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to look around and look for some bedrock. But I know, um, so what they're doing here, they take the machine and they just dig these big huge pits, try to get down to bedrock, and they lay the stuff out here, and then they uh, just metal detect it. So none of this material has been run. It just uh, They're just looking for those big potatoes. Alright, so let's see. Um ain't gonna be easy this is well it's not too bad of a hill but as you can see right here there's a ton of overburden um, let's see if I can find some bedrock see yeah I just looked right in this area here I don't see any obvious bedrock it looks like bedrock is gonna be pretty far so I'm gonna go uh, upstream a little bit and see if I can find a good area all right, I think I found a spot. So they've been digging all, all this. They moved all this material. Obviously right here, there was a big test pit. And um, I'm looking along and I, I see bedrock down there. I see some bedrock. Here's a bedrock wall coming down right here. And it looks like it angles this way. So I don't know where the very bottom of this bedrock is, where the V is. Um, there's no visible bedrock on this side. So I'm gonna start here because I know where the bedrock is. At least I know where it is on this side. I don't know where it is under it or where it goes back up over there. So, you know, I love bedrock because the gold gets all caught up in the bedrock and doesn't move for thousands of years. So, um, yeah, I think I'll start right here. I got a place to float my dredge. I only bought my real short hose. Um, it's only like probably eight feet long. So actually I probably can't float in that pool, but um, we'll make something, we'll make it, we'll make it work for now. I'm just doing a little test pull. That's why I didn't bring my long hose, but if I, if I find a place to dredge today and there's some gold here, I'll bring my long hose tomorrow. Cool, I'm gonna go get set up.
Cool, so I set it up and uh, I just turned the dredge on maybe 10 minutes ago. I just put the nozzle in and just uh, got a little hole started, maybe like 10 minutes. I got a clock, so I came over here and I just went to look in the box and there's already a picker in there. I can't believe it, it's kind of muddy. Um, I, I didn't see anything else, but so far I can see a picker in there. And I'm not even kidding, I put the nozzle in the water and just, I don't know, maybe just cleared some of the overburden for like 10 minutes. So yeah, check that out. All right, I'm gonna stop this. I don't know if there's anything else. I didn't, the water's muddy there, so. Yeah, the water's muddy, so I couldn't see. Well, holy shit, look at that. You got one already. Freaking 10 minutes. Nice, that's a nice crispy one too. Nice. This is gonna be great. Uh, I should have cleaned the box a little more. Put that one there. I mean, uh, there's probably nothing else. I mean, I, I just put the nozzle in the water. All right, hold on. I'm gonna run the box a little more, clean it out. Jeez, maybe there's nuggets. Maybe there's a potato in there. All right, uh, I'm gonna run it. All right, just cut the water. Let's see. Uh, nope, I don't even see any fine gold. Maybe a little one right there. Uh, a little tiny one right there. Jeez, that was like 10 minutes. Cool. Yeah, so like 10 minutes, I got this this little guy. Look, I'm not even suited up yet. I mean, I'm not even, my suit's not even on yet, and I already got gold. So cool, I'm gonna uh, get back down, get some more. So I've been running probably about like an hour or so and this pond here got really 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 muddy I couldn't even see what the heck I was doing uh, I made it down to bedrock but I can't see at all in the crack so um, I wasn't expecting much but I did uh, open the box and got another picker so looks like I just got this one picker here which is a nice one nice little chunky one and I uh, look quick and I didn't see anything else I don't even see any small flakes so this area here is probably kind of like what I'm used to up in Maine, it's just kind of pickers and little nuggets and stuff. Um, I don't see any finds at all in that mat. Um, I'll have to do a full clean out later, but I mean, I'm not seeing any finds at all. I just got uh, this picker and that picker that I got earlier. So there's definitely gold here, that's good. Again, this area has been hammered by the big machines. So, um, you know, all the big stuff probably is gone. So I'm just kind of grabbing all the sloppy seconds, I guess, but I'll take it, you know, that's pretty cool. I got some uh, Rich Hill uh, gold. So yeah, so far two pickers. Um, I'm just gonna stop, have a little cup of coffee, a little snack, and try to let this pool uh, clear up. It, it cleared up a lot. I mean, it was solid mud. I couldn't see my hand in front of my face, but now it's starting to clear up there. So give it a quick cup of coffee and we should be good to go. All right, I got myself a nice one. Biggest one of the day still in the water I'm only in like six inches of water so I don't have my waterproof thing on but it's right there right in front of my nozzle you can see it from here it's right on the bedrock clay layer <laughs> it's right there look at that baby just sitting right there oh look at that that's awesome cool all right let's get some more cool i'm gonna call it a day i just kind of did this area here but again it, it's so muddy i can't i can't see what i'm doing so there might be a whole bunch of pickers on the bottom there i'm just kind of dredging to bedrock by uh by just feeling um so hopefully tomorrow um I can uh, arrange the exit better so uh, I can get this mud out of here so I can see. It starts clearing up. I mean, you can see it now. If I just uh, kind of stop for a minute, it'll start clearing up. So uh, just got to figure something out for tomorrow so I can see better. So yeah, let's go check the box. So, so far I got three pickers I picked off the top. Well, two I picked out of the... Well, my battery died, so I had to go get another one. So, yeah, I opened up the box. And I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot more. But I do see 
one small picker there, a little piece there. I thought I saw another one. Uh, there's a couple tiny ones. No more really big pickers, unless they're in the box here. I don't know. I don't see anything obvious. So I'm gonna do a full clean out and see what I get. Cool. Did my clean out and I put it all in the bucket right here. I'm gonna take it uh, back to camp and pan it out. I did see a few more flakes. Uh, I wouldn't really call them pickers, but you know we got a couple more. So I'll I'll show you back at camp. Okay, here we go. I had to do this inside the camper. Uh, it got too dark outside. By the time I ate dinner and took a shower and put on some dry clothes, uh, it got too dark. So here's all my cons right here. And I'm going to uh, run them in my uh, little pan right here. I'm going to use the sink. So, so far we know for sure. Here's the ones that I picked up off the bottom. So we'll add that um, to it. get all that light stuff off the top there we go so I'm going a little bit fast because uh, I'll probably rerun this material at some time and this is a real heavy pan though there's a lot of black sand in here wow look at all that that's all black sand Jeez. sand is killer that's hard to pin so yeah obviously I'm uh, I'm losing some gold for sure because uh, I have to pan really really hard because there's just so much black sand so I'll be running this material at some point All right, ooh, I see some gold in the corner That's lead. A lot of lead there. That's for sure. Lots and lots of lead. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's do the swirl. Jeez, that's a pan just full of lead. Look at that. Crazy. That's the most lead I've ever uh, dredged up before. There we go. There's some gold in there. Not much, but there is. Right, I'm gonna try to get rid of some of that lead so I can see the gold better. I got rid of most of the lead. There's still quite a bit in there, but let's see what we got. There's a gold showing up now. There we go. So yeah, not too bad. There's some gold in there. Um, not great, but lots of lots of lead, that's for sure. Cool, I'll put those uh, three pickers that I found back in. That's it. So there we go, this is what we got today. Not too bad, we'll try again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.